Hello everyone and welcome to exam B. In this video, I'm going to discuss the memory based questions from the year 2022 part three for SEBI phase one. This is the fifth video in the series where I'm going to discuss about the questions which are asked in the previous year papers. So this entire video series is dedicated to all the previous year questions that have been asked. And in this particular series, I'm going to show you all the questions with the solution of descriptive and the objective part prior to that i have showed you the descriptive question and now it's time for the objective question so in this particular video we are going to have 10 questions and all the answers of these 10 <coughs> questions will be displayed at the end of the video so grab your pen and paper mark your answer and get yourself evaluated at the end of the video so now let's begin with the first question for this video it is about the keyword in c plus plus so there are several keywords in C++ and out of that which are actually meaningful one in this particular question you have to take that. Now the other question is on the purpose of the scope resolution operator. The scope resolution operator does what uh, in C++ basically. So you have to just understand the concept and mark the correct answer. You can pause the video if you feel like you need to read the question for more time. Pause the video and then mark your answer. The third question is about the OSI layer which is responsible for end-to-end -end transmission. So you have to understand the all uh, responsibilities uh, layer by layer and for that you have to give the correct answer in this particular question. Question number uh, fourth is related to the data framework that are associated with which layer of the OSI model. So every particular layer has a PDU and you have to check which PDU is uh, related to the layers which are in the osi model and data frame is one of the pdu and you have to map it to the correct layer now the fifth question in this particular uh, video is related to a piece of code you have to guess the correct output or if there is any kind of problem in this particular code you have to identify whether it is a compile time problem or a runtime problem or if it compiles successfully so understand the code and then mark your answer Question number six is about uh, the recursion. That recursion is using which kind of data structure that you have to make uh, as a correct answer here. Question number seven is related to the abstract class in Java and what exactly they do, what kind of uh, function they have, what is the basic feature of the abstract class that is being asked in this question. The eighth question is related to the SMTP commands. Uh, so SMTP is a protocol which is used in the email services. So you have to uh, check the correct answer for the commands that are used in SMTP. Now, the next question is related to the aggregate function in the SQL. So we have aggregate functions in the SQL and what they are used for. What is the purpose? These are being mentioned in the options and you have to pick the correct option. The last question for the video is related to the graph traversal algorithm and the graph traversal algorithm is based on which all these. So which all these can be used for graph traversal that you have to pick as an answer. Now, time for all the answers and mark your evaluation. So, these are all the 10 answers for this particular uh, set of 10 questions. And uh, evaluate yourself, mark your answers with the, uh, like, mark your attempt with the answers that are correct. And then do mention in the comment section how much you got. If you are getting something in between 1 to 5, you need to revise all those topics which were asked in this particular uh, uh, 10 questions. Need to revise and it's like high time when you need to revise all of them. Or even learn if you don't uh, have any idea about them. The next set is from 6 to 7. You are average or uh, if you are getting 6 to 7, you have to get uh, yourself revised and well competent with the concepts that are being asked in this particular uh 10 questions the people who are getting anything about eight or eight or ten they are doing good but at least you have to focus on the side where you went wrong and you need to revise them all now if you like this video do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update and video like this which will be very very helpful in your preparation and if you still have any doubt, you can mention that in comment section or can reach out to us at hellotexambi.com or on the number that is being flashed on the screen right now. Prepare 50% faster with iExambi and for that go to our website that is www.iExambi.com and see our demo course which is completely free of cost and get yourself onboarded with us. So that was all from my side. See you in the next video. Till then keep practicing and stay updated.